What is the first thing you see when you look at this picture? Most viewers are first captivated by the beautiful color. There is a blue bedroom where everything, including the bed, dresser, windows, pillows, lamps, everything is painted the same shade of bright blue. In contrast to the blue, there are dozens of complementary colored orange goldfish that seem to be swimming through the bedroom and invading the space. On the bed, there is a young boy sitting, facing away from the viewer. He seems to be tired or sad and doesn't seem to notice the fish at all. On the bed, there is a, an adult peacefully sleeping. The title of this 1981 piece is called Revenge of the Goldfish. What could the artist be saying with this image? It seems to be bright and happy because of the colors and the gestures of the fish, but when you consider the sadness of the boy, maybe something more is happening. Does he feel like he is in a fishbowl where he's always being stared at and there is no escape? Is there a strained relationship between him and the adult? Does he feel like he's drowning even though there's no water? Only the artist can share her true intention, but every viewer is welcome to have their own interpretation of how they want to read the visual symbols the artist provides. This image was made by an American artist named Sandy Scoglin. She is known for photography of her surrealist style installation pieces. She was born in 1946 in Massachusetts and she attended several prestigious art schools including Smith College, the University of Paris, and has a master's degree from the University of Iowa. Scoglin has studied a variety of different types of fine art, so she considers herself a multimedia artist. She is now 72 years old and still working both as a conceptual artist and a photographer in the New York area. You might be surprised to find out that these amazing pieces of art are actually photographs of real spaces, and there is no photo manipulation used in any of them. While today we are very used to seeing images like these created by computer programs like Photoshop, when Skoglin created her art in the 70s and 80s, no such thing existed. She had to create her own dream worlds to photograph by hand. These are often called tableaus, or a French word meaning a setup of a striking or theatrical type of scene. She used found objects that she then painted in a monotone color scheme for the backgrounds and created her own sculptures painted in a contrasting color to add emphasis to the surreal space. Skoglin also often used live models within the space to add a sense of reality to the otherworldly craziness going on in her pictures. In Skoglin's 1980 piece, Radioactive Cats, we see a small decaying kitchen painted in a depressing shade of gray. Again, like in many of her other works, everything else is the same shade of gray, including the clothing of the live models. An old man sits at a small, broken table with his back to the viewer while an old woman searches through the refrigerator. All around them is a menagerie of acid green cats. They are on every surface of the room, getting into everything in true curious cat fashion. The vivid color green plays against the dull gray, using color and repetition to add emphasis to the movement of the cats. Even though the color of them is very unnatural, the realistic gestures of the sculpted cats make them believable. Here, Skoglin seems to be making a comment about how we can so very easily ignore the toxic environment that is all around us. The toxicity could be pollution in the environment, the radioactivity of the growing amounts of electronic objects we use, or any other poisons of the body or mind that we subject ourselves to in the modern world. The older people seem beaten down and too tired to care, going on with everyday life as if nothing crazy is going on around them. The cats also look like they've destroyed the only spare chair in the room, making it so the woman has no place to rest and so she just has to keep going no matter how exhausted she may be. Even though cats can make great pets, they are usually a symbol of independence and resurrection because of their nine lives, meaning that they don't care what you think of them and they're not going away anytime soon. They seem to care for the pet cats that poison them and invite them voluntarily into their lives. Sandy Skoglund is not your typical photographer because she is creating every part of the images she photographs. Skoglund is a multi-talented artist working in sculpture, painting, set design, and photography. Every detail you see in her work is there in the exact space for the purpose she envisions. Immerse yourself in more of Skoglund's work by visiting her website at sandyskoglund.com. Think about what common objects she uses in her installations represent and what they all mean when they are so masterfully threaded together in her captivating photographs.